Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I go by the name of Chris Vick, and welcome back to the Game Lounge. Saturday night, right now, we're already playing Midnight Fight Express. And y'all wind up being here with me in the last episode where I wind up fighting up against Chef Faro. And he was actually pretty tough. I ain't gonna lie to him. That was actually a pretty impressive way to come about coming into a fight. I had two bare hands and a drone. My man came with a fire-producing weapon to saute my ass. Too bad. I'm unsauteable. Psych, I lied. Your lips are dry. So we're gonna wind up going to the game studio because Chef Faro wind up saying that they uh they wind up saying that um that uh well actually this is a place where they're just developing games so let's just see how it works out hope everybody's having a great saturday hope everybody's enjoying themselves mom if you wind up seeing this video i remember i told you i wasn't gonna wind up having a sip i found out grape soda tastes really good with vodka i'm very sorry but the cops mobilized, we gotta find some cover fast. Tactical means SWAT, so they really ain't playing around. Fortunately, it looks like this part of town hasn't been hit yet by the takeover. Our efforts must have slowed them down. Let's count... Let's count that as a win while we look for a place to hide. Alright, two seconds, y'all. The Billy, happy birthday, King. How's it going? Yeah, I'm in the house right now, just chilling, having a sip. What's up? I'm getting my shape up right now. Um, I forgot my keys at Angie House. Um, I just gotta come in and change. It's gonna be there within like 30 minutes. It's still gonna be there in like 30 minutes. I'll be here the rest of the night, bro. All right, thank you. I did it. I did it. I'll be over there in a few. Now you good. Shout out to the Billy. Happy birthday, bro. I'm in the middle of an episode for the Midnight's Fight Express. Happy birthday to the boy. Thank you, bro. You already know. I seen you getting the dress done online. Much love. I hope you like. I hope they look to your liking. I'm getting the shape up now. I just got me two pairs of sneakers. Ooh, I text you about text the text messages. The 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 YouTube don't ain't gotta know about it, but text the text messages about the Jordans. Hey, check them about the Jordans. Check your messages. I sent you a text about the Jordans. Angie talked about it. Yo, but if you pulling up, pull up, and I'll see you then. But safety, hope you enjoy the rest of your night, bro. You already know. Safety. Shout out to the Billy. Today's his birthday. He wound up, from what I believe is, either 26 or 27. I think it's 26. He last said 26. Oh, he's like, he last said 25, so I believe it's 26. Anyway, let's move on with the episode. We're going to leave that shift in. <laughs> but thank you for showing out. Something going on over there. Let's check it out. Yo! You here for the launch party of our game? Oh! Are you Jim's partner? We, hold so, we heard so much about you. You're just a little underdressed for the festivities. Our game's all about petting animals. No killing whatsoever. And since it's a midnight launch, we figured jammies and animal onesies were the way to go. Lucky you, you're just in time for the main event. Pillow fight! Too bad I'm gonna kill everybody with this pillow. How you want it, the tempur or the mattress firm? Well, when in Rome... Exactly, and we're not in Rome. Oh, there's a whole fight going on in the lobby. I hope everybody's got pillows to sleep on after this. Because I'm going to give you sleeping pillows after this. Destruction. I'm getting hit while I'm hitting. Am I breaking necks with a pillow? It's not every day you do it. Hold on, relax. Wait, wait, wait. I got options. Wait, pillow or pillow? All right, let me stop choosing between pillow or pillow. But what about this pillow? But then this pillow is important. This pillow told me it was good. This pillow told me it wasn't. <laughs> I let you two get it over with in the corner, but Sally Who right here is taking forever to knock you out. Jesus. What are you doing, swiper no swiping? What the fuck? Is that a tranquilizer gun? Uh-huh, until you get tranquilized. This is wild. You might want to go a little easier with those pillows, though. Why don't we try to find a quieter spot upstairs to hide out? I don't think there is a quieter spot, but I'm willing to look for it. Man, the walls didn't stop me from running. I will ran through the walls. <clears throat> now, listen up, y'all. Hope you're having a great time tonight. You should be all, you all should be super proud of what we built here. A 300-hour tri AAA game built just in under six weeks. 
Give yourselves a pat on the back. Ain't no applause, so I'm going to add the applause my damn self. Oh, also, don't get too comfortable tonight. We'll be kicking off production on, a, on the next one at 8 a.m. sharp. We have a new investor in the form of our city's coolest and most philanthropic hero, Mr. Kingsworthy. He, see, he expects the sequel in half the time of the original. I know, sounds crazy. But if anyone can do it, it's all of you. Okay, then. Let's get back to having mandatory fun for a few more hours. Woo! If you mean mandatory fun, you talking about comas, I'd be supplying those the rest of the night. Between me and you guys, I wind up doing this episode and the second one after this. And the mic was not working. I don't know what happened, but this shit just left me hanging and I was just talking to myself apparently. So I checked it again before I did this episode and it's working. So hopefully this actually works out. <clears throat> Jeez, is there anywhere here we can get some peace and quiet? Let's try the top floor. Journey, I've been following you for the longest. Yeah, stop telling me where to go. Sheesh. Some of you may be wondering, what's with all the grow rooms filled with weed? Aren't we a game studio? Well, with our new investor, Jeff Kingsworthy, on board, we're also now a grow house. We need to figure out how to mix the two. For tax reasons. Ideas? A farming game where you cultivate marijuana and date individual anthropomorphic weed plants? A VR experience where you stimulate smoking weed while you actually smoke it? I mean, no real gameplay, but we'll call it a game for sales. Uh... Am I the only one concerned we're being strong-armed by a monster here? Get out of the way, dickhead. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I like how they just wind up tossing him out because he knew exactly what he was talking about. Are we being strong-armed by a monster? I guess we are! <laughs> you just proved my point, but since I'm going to wind up dying because that was a three-story fall, I won't be able to tell the truth about it. Oh, you guys in this nerf gun again! Listen, it's either nerf or it's not. Jesus Christ. I think we must have finally knocked them out after this point. Finally, some peace and quiet. Listen, about the whole family thing. I... Sorry. This is just a little tough for me to say, apparently. Okay, here it goes. I'm your... We'll be right back to that after these feature presentations. Okay, team. Surveillance shows Babyface was last seen entering this building. Proceed with extreme caution. Shoot on sight and shoot to kill. Do not damage the drone. Boss's orders. Go, go, go. I want to get back home by 8 o'clock. Shit. Are you freaking kidding me? You just can't catch a break. You're good, but SWAT is lethal. We got to go, like, 10 minutes ago. Oh, you ain't saying nothing but a word. I'm about to head back downstairs. Let's be quick. Team 2 is waiting for us in the slums. Apparently, you're dealing with some kind of pushback against Mission Killitary, and they need support. Spread out and find Babyface so we can get out of here ASAP. No need to look, pussy. I done showed my face. Back to square one. You came looking for me? You found me. I came looking for you. Oh, you got a gun. That's cool. You also no longer have the life to live. I bet that was worth the switch over, wasn't it? Sleep! Oh, finish a move. Spin kick. Dipsy doodle. I don't even know what you about. Here's my handle. Here's my spout. Good night. Where's the door? All right. We got you now, asshole. No, I have you now. Open fire. I will win this thing! Pillow Man shows no mercy! <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> Alright, Pillow Man. Who did I shoot? What, was I shooting imaginary bullets? Alright, let me just take him out. Oh, jeez, I didn't have to step in your head like that? Pillow Man! I got nothing but respect for you, but I'm going to put you to sleep before you do it to me. What was you doing with that gun? Stupid. Supercalifragilisticexpialid dumbass. Uh. 
Everybody fall back. Uh-huh. That's all cool. Y'all dead. Whatever. That's definitely going down as one of the weirdest experiences of my life. But hey, we got a lead. Whatever this mission killetary is, it doesn't sound good. Sounds like, sounds a lot like attacking the military, to be honest. Must be part of the takeover. Let's grab one of those SWAT trucks and head to the slums. And I promise we'll talk about the family thing soon. So like I said, yeah, I wound up doing the episode. We wound up beating this again. But like I said, I wound up doing the episode prior to this. And the mic just wasn't working. I don't know what the problem was. So I thought I'd just redo it. And um, I got more money than that. That's bullshit. <laughs> We're going to want to do it in the next episode, which is the train station. And everybody just looks funny there. So whatever. I mean, I got face paint on them. Who allowed you to leave out the house with face paint? You got to question yourself at this point. You smooth dickhead. Oh, sorry. Took me a sip, y'all. Pardon me. Anyway. Okay. Let's recap real quick. Because you're throwing a lot at us. You're throwing a lot at us here, ghost. So this droney just isn't just some random talking drone. It's a real person working from within this Kingsworthy org. That's the guy, by the way. The one we mentioned before. The saint you claimed is a monster in disguise. You got the loyalty, sure. But crazy claims about philanthropists like that have us questioning your sanity, ghost. And now you're telling us not only is this drone an actual in the chair, is an actual person in the chair, but they're your kid too? What? Are you serious? Exactly, Tally. Sounds like a real crock pot of slow cooked bullshit. You hit that one already, Agent McClone. Oh, my bad. I mean, uh, sounds like a. Uh, you get back to me. I think what my partner here is so poorly trying to say is this story is pretty far fetched. Especially when you're the criminal levying claims against someone as visionary as Mr. Kingsworthy. Now, why don't you continue on just dying to know what the next big twist in your very real story is. I'm telling you everything. It was a goat and it turned into a goat and it became a goat. <laughs> and then I was like, I bet that's double, that's double the goat. <laughs> He's double nice. I don't know why I said that. Pardon me. Like I said, I had, I had a couple sips, so pardon me. Damn, roadblocks. The streets just aren't safe. They'll find us for sure if we stay up here. Let's grab the next train to get us to where we need to be. <laughs> oh, door. <clears throat> Pardon me, yeah. Well, hello, bub. Oh! Oh, hey now, it just happens to be the poor, unfortunate soul we're hunting. <laughs> Thanks for delivering yourself right to us. <laughs> Everyone, come grab his ankles because he doesn't need them anymore. Too bad I actually do, punk ass. There you go. You won't touch my ankles unless I allow you to. And even then, I won't allow you to. Because who the hell gives permission to touch ankles? That's just a weird part of the body to touch. You don't want to rub my arm? You just want my ankles? Yeah, I don't know what y'all want to get yourselves into. What are you jumping for? Just to go to bed, stupid. I don't know who the hell these crazies are, but I don't want to stick around to find out. Let's barrel through them so we don't miss our train. Bet that. That four train to Woodlawn is crazy. Special delivery! I didn't ask for a drink. I'm not at the bar. Crunch time. Oh, two piece of the side of the face. Exactly. Ah! Up. I love that move. Ah. Wallsies. Had to smash you on your ballsies. Oh, I can't shoot yet. You going somewhere? If not, I'm going to send you somewhere. Ah. 
I trains at platform three. And I'll take a wild guess. So I'm all these crazies. Wouldn't be a day in the life if it wasn't, Journey. Have a nice trip. You <laughs> big ugly shit. Ah! Yo, in the last episode, I swear on everything, I wasn't able to do that. Square, square, square. Yeah. You big choppy shit. I don't know what you thought this was, but ain't nobody falling over for that. Look here, Heath Leather's Joker. Heath Wedger. Rah! No, I don't even want to do that. Sleep! Woo! I'm gonna put you to bed! To bed! And I'm a rocket body! Sorry. I call this a work of art. Face off! Hee 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 hee. Uh, you proud of yourself? You don't scrape the man's face on the side of a train going by. I didn't mean to hold that button. I must be aggressive tonight. Jeez Louise. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Let the guard down. Stop being a punk. Stop being a punk. I'm here to hurt you. That's my main purpose. Man, that train hurt, but not as bad as I hurt you. Ah! Sorry. Don't go far now, Precious. We'll be back for you in a sexy minute. Uh, faceless. Ah! Fire is hot. Hot is bad. I'm gonna wind up winning. That's what's gonna happen next. Skibidi bob bob do dow. Yeah. You already know. Ah, uh, who the hell are you? You're done for. That's what you are. Focus. Okay, I guess I, I can't pick that up. That's our train. No time to waste. Get on. Boom, da, boom, da, boom, da, boom. I'm going to jump on this whole train and I'm going to wind up breaking my ankles and I'm going to sleep on top of the freight. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Like I said, I had a couple sips. Either way, we got a A, baby. That's how you do it. Yes, sir. We're going to continue on the next episode of the Game Lounge. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The next episode is The Slums. Yes, indeed, baby, The Slums. So the next episode of The Slums, we'll do that probably three, four days from now, maybe four or five days. A long story. Don't worry about it, Kelly. About the end of this episode now. But... With that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning into the Game Lounge. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Any game ideas you might have, please send them to me. I appreciate you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. And even if you comment, comment. I appreciate you guys. But we're going to do the slums next time. And until that next time, be sure you game until you sleep. Kelly! Yay! Broccoli! What <laughs> <laughs>